Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom and will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is shift in a sheaf, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son. Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, it's going to be a quick video. I ain't got no scriptures lined up. But as soon as um I got wind of this video, you know, I wanted to do something on it. And um, as you see, this is Kid Boo. And this is his video. Uh, which he put in to, you know, to basically um, record himself taking out his chip. Now, his title is The Day Remove My Microchip, Kid Boo. You know, and this is a, a, you know, a dude where went viral for his videos and stupid stuff that he does, you know, which is folly. Now, you know, someone may say, well, what happens if you take the chip out? The Lord, all right, never said anything about you taking the mark of the beast, okay, out of your hand and of your forehead. Because we understand here through faith and through the scriptures of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that the microchip is the mark of the beast that the Bible takes, the Bible talks about. All right, because if you go into the word karagma, well, you go into the word mark, which goes to the Greek word karagma, it means something imprinted, all right, something incision, okay, up under the skin. And right now, we know the agenda of these elites. We know the agenda of the Rothschilds, all right? The international bankers, the, the House of Esau. We know that their agenda is to microchip everyone. This is why you have different countries that are uh, like China, uh, Sweden, uh, East India, dealing with what? Biometrics and microchips. You know, it's a new way of form of buying and paying. I mean, buying and selling. Okay, it's a new form of identity. It's also a GPS tracker, all right? And it's for also devices that you can use at your convenience, you know? And um, this guy, uh, as you're gonna see in the video, you know, he said he was watching YouTube videos and I'm pretty sure he came across our videos, which are the men of the Lord, you know, starting with the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. All right, that's teaching 100% truth, teaching the Bible as it is written. You know, the scriptures say you must worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And um, he said he came across the videos and he was saying also that they about to bring out the new 5G and he wants to chip out of him. He wants no part, you know, of it. So I'm going to play a little bit of the video uh, here and, uh, you know, Lord willing, hope to edify the Lord give me some scriptures. All right. Matter of fact, um, yeah. Take out this microchip. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just trying to think. Like, I want to do it myself, but I don't know if I'll hurt myself too bad or some shit. But I might just cut this one back myself. I'm not gonna lie. Where's the microchip? That's right here in my hand. And they insert that. This 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 is a separate investor. That would it, I'm about to like try to like get out that contract, give them their money back, and cut this chip out myself. I don't made enough now, and did enough now. I got enough. I got far enough. I don't want to be involved with that. So you're out. Will they let you just get out? I don't know. I'm gonna figure out. Alright, so low key kind of nervous about this, but I want to do it. So, I'm gonna do it. I'm about to 
literally dead ass cut a lot of shit out of my hand, bro. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm pushing a baby out. I'm acting like a big baby. There it goes. You see it? You see it there? Look at that. It's just bulging out this thing. I'm gonna cut that fucker out. Whew. So scary. I'm doing it myself. My doctor told me not to. He said, I'm coming in the office. I'll do it for free. I was like, no. This is something I have to do alone. And uh, may I say too, this is also, you know, also publicity. You know, this is why, you know, you shouldn't be in the world. Because if you want, you seeking fame, you know, you seeking that type of attention, that vain attention. You seeking to be somebody, a love of yourself in the ways of this world. You know, these guys do certain things so they can be seen, so they can go viral, so they can be recognized. And it's all for what? Fame. Fame. Which is fame is really emptiness. You know, if a person that's seeking fame, they really uh they really are empty. You know, and they want to feel whole, they want to feel accepted, you know. So, you know, him taking his chip at the time, it was big. You know, he was also pushing a vibration for, you know, the youth and his fans and his audience. To do the to do the same thing to 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 basically take the chip, you know. Now it's going to come a time where what the Bible talks about Jacob's trouble, and you're going to be forced to take this microchip, man. All right, and I'm gonna play a little bit more. So I called on my friends to help me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you sanitize your hands again before you start? Can I? I think you should because you were just touching your thumbs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's the tool to sanitize the scalp. Yeah, that's cross-contamination. Strip this shit, bro. It's fetish. Right here. Rebel style, man. Dude, I never loaded a scalp on this. This is incorrect. Like, it's crazy. It doesn't look like it actually holds the blade. Like. Okay, so we're gonna remove this fucker today. Again, this microchip out. Before they launch 5G, I've been hearing a lot of negative stuff on the internet about it, and I see they're trying to ban it, so this concerns me. I wanna remove my microchip. I want no part of this shit no more. I'm gonna be anti human being microchipped. If you have one in you, join the cause, remove your chip. So let's do this shit, but fuck it. Damn, that motherfucker's sharp, bro. You got it hard, pushed against hard? Shouldn't be saying it straight up? Like yeah, like try to make sure the back of it's on your finger. On my finger? Yeah, like so I want to apply a lot of pressure up against this to where it'll release. There you go. You miss it? Yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah, hit that. I'm trying to cut my finger. I'm to cut your finger. Whoa, bro, I'm like, that shit look trippy. I got past like a little piece of skin as it blue as fuck. The whole either, bro. I should have told you not to move it. I got it. You sure? Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. You should be like, keep revising. Shit, bro. I get the whole mouth. Yeah. Oh. Got a napkin and like blotch it real quick. Can't have it swim past the back. See, the back's all the way over here. Like this. Like Fuck. I've fidelity to see. 
Yo, This video taking pretty long. So there you go. You know, Salakia, um, this is what's timed or, you know, plant. This is putting up raw, you know, and um, he took the microchip out. All right. But what the Lord, you know, the Lord didn't say anything about, you know, you taking the chip out, you know, whether you take it out or you don't. The Lord said specifically, if you take the mark of the beast. Now, let me read the scripture here. This is Revelations 13, 16. And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. Now this, this chip is also, is a game changer. It's a, it, it hijacks your brain waves. All right. Because with the right device, they can play with thought. They can play within the frequencies that flow within your mind and your brain, you know? And, um, let me continue to read. I'll read again. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads. And there's plenty of other videos where men have chips in their head, you know, especially men who may be paraplegics, you know, can't use certain limbs, you know, and they able to do things, you know, this chip is a form of a miracle. All right. And, um, Get a, get a quick quick preset real quick here in Revelations. And um this is Revelations chapter 16 and 15. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of the most high almighty. Alright, so what? The key thing is, is that what? They are what? The spirits of devils working miracles. So you better believe it that this chip is a miracle. And if you can't see it, then that's because you didn't research and you haven't have understanding of how powerful this RFID chip is. And this is why your boy, Kid Boo, wants it out of him. Okay? Because he's seen, like he said, he saw videos, which I'm pretty sure he saw the prophet's videos about it. You know, the... the uh, dealing with what the Bible says about it and also probably high tech um, guys that deals with, um, you know, with technology and what's their input on it. You know, he's talked about how 5G, you know, once that come out, you know why? Because that 5G, that 5G, that 5G is deadly, man. You know, you're about to see demon powers, man. Just along, just as long, just as well. Also, 
you're going to see spiritual powers, man. Because the Lord is going to give spiritual powers to his elect, to whoever it may be. Okay? So let me continue. Revelation 13, 16. And he calls of all. And that's the key word, cause of all. That means he's going to force it. All right? Um, let me get another preset. So like you. Bear with me. Uh, pre pre uh, scriptures are jumping in my head. Uh, let me get Revelations 12 and 12. All right? This is Revelations chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that devil is actually a man, okay, which is men, starting with the house of Esau. When he has his stormtroopers and his military troops and these foreign troopers invade his land, which you call America, which is known as Babylon the Great, you're going to be forced because he knows that he had but a short time. And why does, he, why does he have but a short time? Because Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he's going to return. All right. There's every day, you know, there's sightings of the Lord's angels, which the world call UFOs. You think that these elites don't know what the Lord is planning to do? You don't you don't think that they see the Lord's angels riding in the heavens? There's plenty of things that's going on, which is spiritual, that the Heavenly Father is doing. He's fulfilling prophecy. All right. And just as well as this chip, it's a prophecy as well because it's written as the mark of the beast. So this is verse 17 and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. OK, because eventually these Edomites, you know, they wanted their agenda is to do what? Force this chip. This chip is a new form of currency. All right. Digital money. This is another way they can control all assets of, of income, you know, or financial uh, 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 financial uh, uh, things dealing with money. OK, you know, if, if you uh, owe them or you have garnished wedges, you're not paying certain bills, they can take it right out, you know, of, of, of your chip because everything is computerized. All right. You know, um. It says that no man might buy or sell, you know, if you have a business, eventually their plans is to do what? So if you sell anything, you have to have the chip and you can look at China. You can go into that field, that avenue and look what they're doing out there already today. Okay, in 2019, what's this? September, September the 13th. In China, they have stores where you can't buy, all right, certain items unless you're doing it digitally, digitally, all right? It says, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast and the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man and his number is 600, three score and six, all right? Because it is the mark, the 666, all right? Um, I have another scripture here which is Isaiah chapter 32 and verse five. It says the vow person shall be no more called liberal, nor the chore said to be bountiful for the vow person. And that vow person is Edom. Okay. Starting with the elites. It says for that, for the vow person will speak villainly and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord. And you best believe that these elites, they want to utter error against the Most High. This is why everything now is dealing with what? Transhuman. They want to modify and, and they want to modify the body and also change the way nature works. You know, I was just watching a um, video, which I hope to post, you know, if I, if I can. Um, there was uh, two guys that was talking, I think it's scary movies. Um, I forgot the name of their channel, but they was going in, man, and, and spilling the beans on Esau, you know. You know, here it is, you know, Esau, he wants to change nature. You know, 
now he's promoting homosexuality, transsexuals, and things of that nature. You know, he's hoping to change the ideology of how, you know, you actually think, all right, which is he's dumbing down the people and destroying you, all right, with all of his devices. You know, Esau is a madman. And um, bear with me. Let me get another preset real quick. I'm going to hold it. So I want to grab it right now. Second Thessalonians. Uh, right. All right. Uh, let me finish this up and I grab this scripture. This is Isaiah back in Isaiah chapter 32 and verse six. For the veiled person will speak villainly and his heart, which is represent his mind and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord to make empty the soul of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. So these elites, they well plant this agenda. All right. This destruction, you know, dumbing the people down and making them more you know, than a slave, all right? They have a lot of think tanks. They have technology. They have power on the left-hand side. But these Edomites are very prideful and not understanding the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that the Lord is going to chop you down, all right? This is all a part of the Lord's movie. So it says, verse seven, the instruments also of the chul. And if brothers, if you didn't know the word chul, Quick Google search. It means what? An impolite and mean spirited person. That gives a correct um, characteristic of Esau, Edom, starting with the elites. They are what? Chol, a an impolite, mean spirited person. To be an impolite, mean spirited person, that's an evil person, man. Someone that thinks villainly. Someone that thinks of iniquity. To cause, you know, to cause people to go off of the most high. You know, this is why they practice the, the practice of Talmud. When you look at the Talmud, when you look at their commandments and what they live by, their laws, it's completely and it's completely the opposite of the laws of the most high. It's, it's completely copied and paste, but opposite of what the Lord said to do. All right. And that's what they worship, the Talmud. OK, so let me get back. This is um, Isaiah 32 and 7. The instruments, because this chip is an instrument, it's a device. The instruments also of the chul are evil because really it's to control you. It's so that they can be as the most high. They can now number the people in the world. You know, they was they had talks about this chip where they said the inside of it has something called Sinai, a certain chemical. That if it if it diffuses itself or breaks within your bloodstream, it can kill you instantly. All right. These Edomites, they, they have a God complex. They want to be as if they're God. They want the world and everyone to worship them as if they're the creator. And they're not. It says the instruments also of the chul are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. Verse 8. But the liberal deviseth liberal things. And by liberal things shall he stand. Okay. So this just shows you that. These Edomites are the devil that the Bible speaks of. And for this guy Kid Boo. You know just because he took the chip out. Doesn't mean he's not going to be destroyed. Alright. Now I want to get this scripture. Since I said that. Because the Lord said this about receiving the mark. All right. This is uh, Revelations chapter 14 and verse eight. It says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. That great city. All right. And Babylon, which is talking about is America, North America. It says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. That great city, because she made all nations drink. Of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All right. This place in which you call America. That wine represents false philosophy. Religions. This place. 
Okay, these Edomites have set the tone here, set the standard for all other countries to live in this type of manner, which is all witchcraft and, and wickedness. All right, everything that utters error against the Most High. Okay, this is why they have troubles with these Hamite countries and, I mean, well, Hamite lands and, and their, you know, they set their democracy over there and their standards. And they don't like the fact that, you know, everyone is not accepting homosexuality and transsexual. You know, they force it upon you. They, 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 they do something called auto abkeo, problem reaction solution, you know, but anyway, it says, um, it says, uh, uh, excuse me, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and mainly that chip. Right now, China is beating America as far as pushing a chip, pushing a mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, which means radio frequency identification. All right. It says verse nine. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image. And receive, notice the key word, receive. Kid Boo received the mark and he had it for a period of time, maybe a year or something like that. Because I remember the video, I think it was last year where Brothers was posting and showing you this rapper, you know, was take, he was, a, I wouldn't say the first one, but far as the one uh, first admitting, you know, he took the chip. And that video, those videos went viral. All right, so. Verse nine, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, and the image represents the system, because there's a system in play when it comes to, well, it's a system in play right now that we have to live by. But guess what? We don't all have the mark of the beast, because when they do force this chip, there's a system being implemented, system that you have to live by. All right. It says, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. And in the presence of the lamb. And that lamb is Yahweh Shai. Alright. So either way. You know. You're going to be destroyed. Because this is what the Lord said. And that and that fire. Alright. That everlasting. That um. What you call it um. And that, that torment. You know with fire and brimstone raining upon your head. Is going to be the way of the what? The way of you know. World War Three. When you left here on the soil, you used to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. All right? By thermonuclear fire. Flock here. Let me charge your phone trying to die on me. Bear with me. All right. And I'm not going to make this lesson too long. But, um. Oh, I'll read this last scripture and wrap it up. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And uh, I start at three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And who is that? Esau. The world knows who Esau Edom is. All right. Despite that he might not want to be Esau or despite others that help him and pushing these lies that he's not. The world know he is, okay? Because he's being revealed in his time. And he's what? Another name is the son of perdition, destruction, man. It says, who opposeth, and that's starting with the how, the elites, okay? It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And how did he want to sit in the temple? Well, the temple represents the Israelites. All right. And how he sits in your temple is by the way of the mark of the beast. Okay. Him having his chip implanted inside you and he can control you. You know, there's plenty of movies. Okay. That, 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 uh, plays along their agenda that 
shows you th their uh, intentions, man. You know how you had Kingsman, you had uh, uh, End Time with Justin Timberlake. You got the Gamer, uh, the movie with uh, the guy that played the Spartan. Cause I forget his name. That played the Spartan. You know the main character with the beard. You know he played in a movie called The Gamer. They deal with nanobots and things like that. There's plenty of movies, man. Okay, that goes into this. But when we do these videos, you people um, in for the, uh, in the world, you don't believe. That's on you. You know we do these shows for the elect, man. All right. So let me finish. It says verse five. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know what withholdeth that we might. That he, so excuse me, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And right now Esau is being destroyed, okay, by the spirit of his mouth because the prophets are back. The same prophets you see, you read about in the Bible, Jeremiah, Isaiah, these men are back, man. All right. And if and if they it and if they're not here per se on the earth, then they came back already and they up with the Heavenly Father waiting. All right. But most of the men, I'll say the prophets, let me say the prophets of the Lord, they're back, man. We're in the last day. We're, we're in dark times, man. These people today are a bunch of truly um uh, uh what you call it, sheeple. Stupid, you know, they're attacking your kids with their ideology and their way of life. They're changing up uh, things that are naturally normal. You know, they want to take away the word he and she. They say if you call a transsexual a trainee, that's offensive. You know, they they took in the rainbow, which was a gift from the most high. OK, to give to Noah and all of us, all of us. All right. To know that the Lord would never flood the earth. But they took in that and made pride out of it. When the scriptures tell you that the Lord hate pride. He said pride leads to a haughty fall. Pride leads to destruction. All right. So um, I hope this lesson was edifying. I'm going to wrap it up with that. You know, like the video here. Uh, Kid Boo taking a microchip out after he had it in. For I think a year and some change maybe. A year and some months or something like that. Because I believe that video where he got it done was last year I think. Or was it the beginning but anyway, you know, neither here nor there. I hope you guys were edified. Those of the hopeful elect, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakodash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.